Right, hey, Mark Deering here. Just got uh, something new called Swagman, and I uh, thought I'd share it with you guys, kind of show you what it's all about. Um, I've got a pretty decent um, bike rack, one-up bike rack, and I uh, can't have the one-up on when I get my car washes. Uh, winter's coming, um, salt on the rack, can't leave the rack on all the time. Uh, kind of got sick of taking the rack off and putting it over on a setup that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, it worked fine, but it was way on the other side of the garage. Um, wasn't real convenient, so I was cruising through Amazon, cruising through the web, and found this swag man. Um, I'll show you what it's all about, but it seems to be pretty handy. All right, so here it is. It is a device that you attach to the wall, and it basically holds your bike rack. I'm going to show you all the different things that it does here in a minute, but uh, this is the overview of uh, what it actually is you bolt it into a stud and I'll show you all the functions of it here in a second all right you can probably tell already with some of the functions um, what it does but there's a pin up top you take the pin out slide it off to the side and then this thing goes against the wall so it doesn't turn into an ankle buster you can get by it kind of a cool feature and then, I don't know if I'll use this too often, but maybe I'm going to ignore this rusty, uh, rusty hitch here. It's the first one I grab. But uh, they built it so that you could put one of these in here. Good spot to store. So you got, say, a hitch or something you want to store. Just pop it in there. And it just kind of hangs there. Kind of a cool, mine, mine are always sitting on the ground. Hence, maybe the rust. Um... But that's kind of a cool feature. Slides both ways. I'm not sure if that would ever come into play. Wanting it to be the other side. But you just put it out here in the middle. Pop the pin in. And you're good to go. The one up rack does not use these here. Um, but it does uh, have that option for your pin. If you do have a style rack that you don't want to fall off. So there it is with the rack on it. It uh, hugs pretty tight to the wall. I'll try to give you an upper look here, but uh, I'd say about 18 inches uh, from the wall. Hangs pretty tight to the wall. Gets it out of your way. One of the uh, um, online pictures actually shows it like this as well with bikes on it. Um, so you can see they stick out just about as far as the trash cans do. Um, I guess you could put bikes on it. Um, I wonder what the weight rating would be. Uh, it is uh, four giant legs that go into the the uh, two by four, the studded wall. So it probably can hold quite a bit of weight. Um, don't think I'll ever use it this way. I don't think I'll ever put bikes on it when it's sitting over here, just because then you gotta take the bike off to get it out and put it on your car. I just hang my bikes over in a different area. But if you're real limited with space and uh, want to put your bikes here, it's not a bad thing too. I wanted to make it super simple to take off and slide right over there. So I made it nice and, nice and convenient from the location of the car. This is what I was using, just regular old uh, J-hooks. Um, they worked fine for quite a while. And you can see I got my third piece there. I'm um, storing that there. I might move that to the somewhere different. But... Uh, it was just kind of a pain in the butt. It wasn't super secure. You're kind of scratching the paint. Um, a little clunky. And it was on the opposite side of the garage. So um, this new setup, the Swagman, be able to not scratch the paint. Easy on, easy off. And not have to mess with it. So that's it. That's my review of the Swagman. It's uh, easily found on Amazon. I want to say it was in the $20 to $25 range. Uh, real inexpensive for the convenience that it brings. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, reviews like this. We've got all kinds of stuff that we're checking out um, and giving you reviews on. Go ahead and comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll be in touch.